Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Genie Guide. In this guide video, I will show you the way as to how you can fix your disabled or your unavailable iPad. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Without any further ado or delay, let's get started with today's video. So if your iPad says that it is actually currently unavailable or it says that it has been disabled and connects to iTunes, well that usually happens when you forgot the passcode to your device and you try to unlock it too many times. That could be one of the reasons why it says that. But keep in mind that you don't need to really take it to an Apple store or anywhere else to fix this. If you have a personal computer with you, as long as you know basic software stuff and you have your personal computer with you, I will just show you how you can restore your your iPad to the latest version and get all of the functions working but only do this process if you remember the exact Apple ID which was currently logged in on this particular iPad so if you do not remember the Apple ID do not do this process because then you will need to unlock your device again in order to do this procedure you need a lightning cable which is the USB lightning cable of iPad which also charges it you can use a charging cable if you really want we're going to connect this to our USB port PC on our PC and the other end to our iPad on a PC you have to make sure to download this software called iTunes which is available on support.apple.com I will make sure to leave a direct link down in the description box so after you connect the other end to the USB port of your laptop or your computer you have to connect this one to your iPad so as you can see right over here we have to make sure to just connect it right over here on this charging port once you connect it what you want to do is now it doesn't matter which iPad you have we are going to send this iPad into a recovery mode which means a DFU or emergency rescue mode now it depends on what kind of iPad you also have because in my case I have a home button you might not have a home button if you don't have a home button press the volume and the power keys together but in the ones that has a home button what you want to do is you can see the power button at the very top of your iPad over here you have to press the power buttons and the volume buttons together so let me go ahead and then do that Press power buttons and volume buttons together until I say to not release it and until we get into the recovery mode. So make sure that your charging cable is also connected to your PC because if you do not charge it and do it, you will not be able to do this process as well. Keep on holding and do not release it until and unless you see the recovery mode screen. So right over here you can see boot loop but do not release it just yet. What we are going to do is instead we are going to wait until it gives us the recovery screen. So as you can see we are in this particular screen you have to let go of your fingers when you are on this screen this is basically a recovery mode as you do this on your personal computer or your laptop you will see just pop up menu saying that there is a problem in the ipad that requires to be updated restored now you can try to update it if you want but i'll just go ahead and directly restore it because that is basically what we're going to do this will install the newest software on our ipad but keep in mind that you will need your apple id to unlock it so i'll just go ahead and select the restore button now once I select restore button you can see it says are you sure you want to restore the iPad but keep in mind that you're going to lose all of your data make sure your cables are connected properly if in case your cables get disconnected in between you could have a bricked iPad with yourself so be very very aware and mindful of that and just tap on the restore and update button as you do that it may take some time to download the latest iOS version and extract them as well so as you can see at the top you can see also the progress bar in the meantime I'll also show you what's really happening on my iPad at the moment as you could see over here it basically gives me this message you can just go ahead and wait until you get the flashing process as you can see it says extracting software be patient and wait for all of this process to complete now you can see it says preparing ipad for restore now this is the very very important step make sure that all of your cables are connected properly make sure that there isn't a loose end if this fails in between you have to make sure to again repeat the process but by changing your usb cable so if you have another usb cable i'd recommend you just simply change it and try it again now as you can see this kind of boot loop as well now you'll see a progress bar as well when it is flashing the latest software be patient and wait it may take up to a couple of minutes to do this process now you can see the process has begun as you can see this line complete it means after the line is complete your ipad will basically be restored so you don't have to worry leave a like and thumbs up if this video is helpful to you in the meantime we will come after the flashing process is finished so now basically our iPad has been successfully restored. Now it may keep restarting a few times until you see the screen. So I'm sure you didn't have to worry about that. Make sure that your cable is still connected. But now after you see the setup screen, it is safe for you to remove the USB cable. As you can also see on iTunes, it says welcome to new iPad, which means that our iPad has successfully been restored. Now I'll simply go ahead and set these up. But keep in mind that you need to actually have the same Apple ID, which was previously logged in on this particular device. So make sure you have access to that Apple ID as well. In my case, I'll just select my country too over here. 
Once I do that, you can see setup manually and so on. I'll just select setup manually option and I'll just tap on the continue button and so on. For it, it is also very important to connect to a network because if you don't connect to it, you'll not be able to move to the next step. I'll just go ahead and connect to network over here. Now you can see I'm connected to a network. So now just tap on continue and I'll just set it up everything later, by the way. Now it may ask you to use your Apple ID or maybe not. If there was an Apple ID within this device, it would ask you to log in with that Apple ID. But basically, if it doesn't, then most likely it means that your iPad has been successfully restored. So I'll just select don't use passcode for now. I'll just show you by actually going ahead and then opening up. So as you can see, it'll ask me to log into my Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, then set up later in settings and I'll just select to don't use. Agree to the terms and conditions. Now just tap and continue. I'll just skip all of this process. So now you can see that our iPad has been successfully restored. So it's as easy as this. All you need is a USB cable and a personal computer to help with your iPad. Hopefully you like this video. If it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, then make sure to also leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.